A B7. I don't know what a B7 is, Scott, do you? I don't know, but she's brave. I wouldn't do that live <laughs> no, on the air. Oh, was, my gosh. That was clearly a stunt double. I know. Oh, and I would need one for sure. <laughs> Scott Uline from Canyon Ranch, we appreciate your being here. Good today. to see you. Hey, it's great to be we, here. You're going to do today an appetizer, a main course, yep. and a dessert. Right? We are. So we got a lot to do in we the do. next hour. We do. But I want to also talk, before we get started, about you have a demonstration coming up. I do. I'm going to head out and see our buddy Chef Bo McMillan up at the Sanctuary on Camelback next week, where we're going to do a little farm-to-table presentation, both next Friday night for dinner cool. and then during the day on saturday for a lunch and learn so come on out that's very Join cool. that'll us. be fun yeah that'll be fun it's friday next friday uh friday night and then saturday for very lunch cool. very cool so now we're talking about fresh ingredients here right yeah and mm -hmm. you know people that live outside of arizona think oh, nothing must grow in arizona but we have a shit. bounty of things yeah. you know we really do in fact i was at the farmer's market last week and the peppers right now these are poblanos the peppers are beautiful right now there's actually a local Cheese, a goat cheese producer wow. in the area, so okay. we've got that. And then, believe it or not, there's even desert shrimp being raised outside really? of Gila Bend. They're not available right now. Fresh These are Mexican. Shrimp? They're freshwater shrimp. Okay. That's right. They come into season usually later in the fall when the weather's a little bit. Tell cooler. me, Scott, because I'm not very good at this stuff. Tell me what a poblano pepper well, is. Well, this is well. I mean, it's kind of the the border of a little bit spicy. You know, okay. it's this beautiful dark green pepper. Yep. Generally, what you do is you either steam them or you char them to remove the skin, and that's what we've kind of done here. This is this this is it. When it's now, the ones I see are rounded, more rounded. Yeah, sometimes they are. Okay. And, you know, then, of course, the next step would be in Anaheim, which would be a little bit thinner and a little bit longer. Okay. But, bell yeah, oh, well, bell green bell pepper. pepper. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's so, totally okay, different. That's why I'm asking the difference. Thanks, Andy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Andy's step double. Okay. Listen, let's go back to square one, okay? <laughs> that's what I asked. Okay, so where are we going? So all I did here yes. is I charred this, and you can see the skin is blackened, and you just do this over an open flame, either on your barbecue and your barbecue, and you okay. do it over a gas grill Easy. or a gas flame. Easy. And then it's peeled, all right? And okay. All you have to do is, after that's charred, put it in a little bowl, cover it with a little saran wrap, wait about five minutes or so, and then zip, the skin peels really? right off. Oh, cool. And this so is what, what you end up with. with. Okay. Yeah, that's what we end up right. with. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of take off that top part and remove right. the seeds. Yep. The seeds are really, the seeds in the membrane are really where the heat is. That's the hot, yeah. So that's, and, and they're a little bit tougher to eat as well. In the meantime, yep. Craig, if do? you could mix our goat cheese, goat cheese. with our shrimp okay. and okay. a little bit of cilantro. Yeah, all that's right. all. Okay. A little fresh cilantro you got it. and a pinch of salt. Okay. And just mix that up so it's that's nice it. and creamy. That's okay. it. Right. And then I'm just going to remove these seeds here, and I'm going to kind of clean this pepper up a little bit. And while, see how good Andy was skateboarding? Look at how good I can stir this. That is amazing, uh -huh. and you don't even need a stunt double. <laughs> No stunt double here, Andy. That's right. Uh -huh. Now, all that would happen, let's just put a little bit right there on the corner of that, okay, or ready? the end of that pepper. Just, yeah, maybe a little bit, yeah, a tablespoon or so. That's perfect. Okay. All right. And then that just gets rolled up, and that is it. That is That's literally it. all we do. No and then kidding. I'm just going to, I would bake those. And we've got a couple in the oven that we can test. Okay, now, perfect. the reason I have the plastic wrap here is sometimes yes. these peppers are a little bit fat. So you may have to kind of even them out just a little oh. bit with a little mallet, and that's all. But cool. it's, that's just a secondary a thing. More on there. Yeah, you bet. Sure. Okay. So these two would go right into a little oiled pan and then yep. right into the oven. And what I like to do is I like to top them with just a little bit of toasted now, pumpkin that? seeds. Toasted Pepitas, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. seeds. No yeah. kidding. So should we do a taste yeah, on these? Oh, I think so. These babies. You? Now, how long, you, how long do you put them in the oven for? Oh, they only go in for about seven minutes or so. So see? not so very much. Not very long. And okay. then if you really want to, if you really want to get some balanced flavors, then what we would do is just a little shot of lime juice right before you serve it. So really? it's just like that. Wow. So, yeah, delicious. Very, Very nice. Cool. We can do a taster if you'd like, and then nice. we can move on to our gazpacho, or if you want to taste, I'll yeah. start yeah, our gazpacho. Let me taste a little bit of this here. The other thing that I saw this week at the farmer's market were the tomatoes. I think and I want to pick this up like a hot dog. Oh, yeah, here you go. This. Here you go. Scott, How about that? Oh, there you go. How about that okay, right there? Good. There we I'm go. Just we'll just off a little bit of corn. There there you I go. got some right here. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna taste Holy that. Cow. I'm gonna taste that baby as that well. That is awesome, man. It's got a lot of flavor. Oh my it? gosh! Yeah, and a little heat to it too. That's like what I got to see. All right, so what do we have you. coming up next? All right, we got about 30 seconds left here. So what do we have left? Beautiful. So all I'm gonna do is That's show you appetizer. really quickly a roasted tomato gazpacho. Yep. Okay. So these are the Roma tomatoes when we bought them at the market. Yep. After we roast them for about 45 minutes an hour in a cooler oven, about 325, okay. 350, we reduce them down to that. I puree them. If you can add just a little bit of... Uh, yeah, what do you need? I just need you to add a little olive oil. Okay. Just, just a right touch of sugar right in. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. And then okay. I'm going to cover it. And if you can turn that on for you me right it. there, We're that'd right be great. Here. Mm hmm Perfect. That's all we have to do. Beautiful. That's it. That's good. Yep. Okay. I like a little garnish. A little yep. fresh cucumber, which I'm getting out of my garden right yep. now. A little bit of more tomato. 
a little bit of bell pepper, a little bit of olive, mixed olives. How about adding some feta cheese in there and I'll oh, work from the can. back. All right, there you go. It. I've got a little oregano. Right. Yep, you're putting in feta cheese. Okay. A little olive oil, got that. Our onions. onions. Got a little vinegar. Okay. And just a touch of garlic. Beautiful. All right. So here's Pour how we in. serve this. And this has a great, great little roasted flavor as well. Right in a bowl there. Look at how you do that on the back side of the spoon. Very yeah, good. that way it doesn't drip. How yeah. do you like that? I like All it. All the tricks of the trade. Not and then our little gazpacho garnish. And then we can do a taster on this as well. Look at that. That's it. How beautiful is that? Unbelievable. Let's do a taster there. I love this one. This is great. Mmm. Actually amazing, huh? Lots of flavor. Lot when you roast flavor. the tomatoes yeah. like that, it really oh brings out gosh. the sweetness. Scott, so we got to go now, but we're coming All back right. later with more stuff, right? We are. All right.